Greetings once again in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that you are blessed by the reading of God's Word, by the fresh revelation knowledge that He gives you when you read His Word. <clears throat> I have something, uh, one, one more thing to share with you uh, that the Lord has shown me. Uh, a couple of nights ago, I was looking up at the stars <clears throat> and the Lord showed me uh, the sign of the snake and the scorpion <clears throat> and a triangle or the pyramid was spotted on the night of Saturday at 7 26 14. <clears throat> Those who have been looking to the heavens for signs in the stars. So just for the record and just for the note uh, <clears throat> that was spotted. I was hoping to spot Leo. I was hoping to spot the lion as well, but I could not see it. Nevertheless, the Lord <clears throat> has indeed crushed the head of the serpent. Now that's a wonderful message to know that although we're on borrowed time, Satan's on borrowed time, that they may you know, be in control for a little season, a short season, they may be able to accuse us and persecute us. These dragons and these scorpions and these snakes and, and you know, <clears throat> the cruel kings and the cruel lords. There's one in heaven, king of all kings and lord of all lords, who is just and righteous. And that's a wonderful message. Although we, we are uh, <clears throat> living in the final hours and these things must happen and the Lord's showing us his coming, nevertheless, he is victorious. Who is he? He is Jesus Christ. I want to read something to you uh, to go with that message. Uh, it says in uh, the first chapter of Genesis, verse 14, and God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and for years. But we know not the day or the hour that the Lord doth come, but I want to be prepared and ready for the rapture of the church. And I want to come back riding a white horse with him, following behind after him, when he comes back with tens of thousands of his saints, to finally crush the head of the serpent once and for all, and all his scorpions that follow after him, who have built up Babylon, and who have made a great pyramid, building a tower of Babel to heaven. This concludes the message and all that I would have to say for the Lord. There's nothing further I should add or, or can add. Just uh, turn to Jesus Christ. Give your life to him. We're living in the last days. This could even be the final hour. Take care and God bless you. Until next time.